We are here today to talk about 97 things every cloud engineer should know. As a crusty, battle-scarred veteran, going through this and seeing a bunch of validations to, to long hill fought upon battles that I've had in my past. Um, this was this was a fantastic read. When she reached out to me, I said, yes, of course, I'd love to help. Wait a minute, 90, do we have to write 97 things? Uh, that was my first question because um, I don't have 97 things that people need to know. Uh, and then she, she described the format of the book and, and just like Emily, I got really excited because this meant that we could reach out to people across the community and really bring in voices that maybe sometimes you haven't heard before or haven't had an opportunity to hear. The gift of this series and of the book is that it not only gives a voice to people, like Nathan was saying, that don't always have a platform, but they also come to this with experiences, passions, points of views that we can't possibly have as individuals, right? Were there stories in there that, that resonated more or that you loved more? I'm not gonna ask which ones you liked less because that's not fair. I have a strong bias toward the human aspect of our socio-technical systems. You know, it, it's great to have 90% um, you know, uptime or whatever it is for you, but, but if it's horrible going to work every day, what's the point of this? There are a couple that I certainly come back to and are quoting all of the time, and those are the ones that I think really challenge how we think about things. Uh, for example, uh, article number 42, <laughs> J. Paul Reed. <laughs> J. Paul Reed revisiting the R's of SRE, reliability and resiliency and, and robustness. And these are all different words and they have different meanings. And we, we need to understand them in context and how do we approach them. We've, we've all heard of test driven development. And, and that was like, oh, TDD for infrastructure. Bing. Emily Freeman, are you suggesting that curiosity and critical thinking and being able to admit that you're wrong are positive and good traits? We have a really remarkable community. And the fact that we not only know all of these things, but are willing to share and actually get joy out of sharing. Every time I have trouble at, at work or I'm frustrated or whatever, I come back to that. And that is forever my North Star. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.